Hello, hello, dear viewers. I'm Chornat again. Welcome back to our channel. Today we have brought to you molded or bent plywood and bent wood furniture and decor ideas for your inspiration. This video contains a collection of beautiful molded or bent plywood and bent wood furniture and decor ideas which you can copy and duplicate at your own workshop. You can pick your favorite design and try to make it at home or show it to your local workshop so that they can make one for you. You can even turn these plants or designs into a lucrative small scale manufacturing business with a small initial investment on basic tools and materials. So we advise you to watch the video until the end and choose an inspiring design for your next project. If you are new to the channel and if you like what you see, please consider subscribing to the channel and smash the notification bell so that you will be the first one to be notified when we upload new videos. If you are already a subscribed member, please like and share this video so that it could reach a wide range of audience. Molded plywood is a term for two or three dimensionally shaped products from multiple veneer layers that are glued together through heat and pressure in a pressing tool. The veneer layers are arranged crosswise at an angle of 90 degrees. Molded wood is used for flat furniture components such as seats, backrests and seat shelves. Whenever the vinyl layers are arranged in the same direction, it is called laminated wood. It is used for armrests and chair frames. After pressing, the blanks are processed mechanically. A particular feature is the ability to produce different variations of shapes from the blanks. Due to its immense strength and low weight, Molded wood is particularly suitable for interior decoration, seating furniture, bed slats, skateboards, and vehicle construction. When we look at the history of molded wood, it was an American named Isaac Cole who first took out a patent for the process of production of molded wood in 1874. He designed a chair made of glue laminated wood strips. However, in 1830, the famous furniture designer Michael Tonnet had already begun to experiment with gluing of veneer layers. He only managed to produce two-dimensional deformations though. He stopped these experiments and developed the bent wood process to produce three-dimensional molded wood components made of solid wood. With the Model S43, the company Geruder Tornet launched the first cantilever chair in 1931. To make the chair very comfortable without padding and to give it a light appearance, designer Mart Stam used three-dimensionally shaped plywood parts for its seat and back. The Finnish Alvar Alto was the first to deliberately implement the natural spring effect of the material when he created his model Piamio in the 1930s. Marcel Brewer created the long chair in the 1975-1936. Five years later, the architects and designers Charles Ames and Iro Sarinen won a furniture design competition in New York with a three-dimensionally shaped shell. After that, Charles M. and his wife Ray developed the spectacular plywood furniture collection for the company Herman Miller. In Europe, Arne Jacobson presented a chair with the unusual name Ant Chair in 1952. 
that should later become a great success. Seat and back are self-supporting and connected by a narrow waist. These million selling classics are still in production today. The commonly used terminologies in the area of bent wood furniture include molded plywood and laminated wood. When we look at the phrase molded plywood, it refers to parts made from at least three thin veneers that are glued together with the grain of which running at 90 degree angle to that in the next layer. This interlocking pattern greatly reduces the swelling and shrinking and generates more resistance in the surface. These properties are used in two-dimensional moldings such as seats, backrests and shelves. The veneer qualities can be put together for visible or upholstered molded plywood parts. The inner layers are made of less expensive peeled veneers. The top layers can be selected from peeled veneers, pine wood sliced veneers or laminates. On the other hand, Laminated wood is the term for moldings where the grain in, in all layers run parallel to increase the bending strengths and reduce the swelling and shrinking behavior. Laminated wood is interlocked with some transverse veneers for such application for certain applications. Laminated wood is used for chair frames, cantilever side parts, and armrests. By employing laminated wood gussets or triangular members, the wood joints can be pressed at the same time. The thickness of the molded parts can be varied by using partially ground interior veneers. Compared to molded plywood, the tensile strength is significantly higher. The production process is divided into three steps. First, the peeled veneer is produced, then it is pressed into molded plywood or laminated wood planks, which are subsequently processed. This results in readily ready to install furniture or interior design components. In Europe, beech wood is used. It is available in large quantities from sustainably managed forests. In Northern and Eastern Europe, birch wood is frequently used. In North America, hard maple is used. The tree trunks are harvested only during the winter outside the sap flow period and need to be sprayed with water in the storage area or stored under water. For the production of veneers, the logs are steamed with hot water vapor in steam pits at 85 degrees Celsius. This makes the wood high in moisture and pliable. The next steps are the logs separation and debarking. The lengths of the log sections are based on the veneer size required for the orders. In the peeling line, the peeling blade is let with high pressure again a circulating block section. The result is a continuous veneer strip which is cut into the required width. You can create veneers with thicknesses of 0.6 to 2.3 millimeters. 
The veneers are still wet when they come out and run through the drying area. Immediately after that, the peeled veneers are automatically sorted according to their visual qualities. They are divided into two categories, one for visible use and one with notes and cracks that are used for moldings that will later be fully upholstered. The next step in the molding process is to press the veneer into the required shape and size. The pressing tools can be made of two parts or several parts depending on the complexity of the bends required and the suitability of the chosen bend angle. Some bends require pressure to be applied from one side while others require it from both sides. The pressing begins with glue being sprayed into, onto the veneer. Although simple wood glue could be used for small projects done at home level, the commercially used glue is made of urea formaldehyde resin with a hardener that becomes thermosetting during the pressing process. A so-called veneer packet is then inserted in the pressing tool that is at 100 degrees Celsius. The press is fed in. The pressing pressure is approximately 25 Newton per centimeter square. The pressing time depends on the thickness of the molded parts. The thicker the part, the longer it is pressed. Shells need about 5 minutes. Thicker side panels may take up to 20 minutes. An exception is the high frequency glowing, where the glue joints are heated via a capacitor field or condenser field which significantly reduces the pressing time. Therefore, this method is suitable for very thick moldings. Since veneer is a natural product, it is necessary to observe certain limitations in the pressing process. The smallest radius is dependent on the veneer thicknesses used and is 12 mm or 90 degree angle. A taper of the molded parts is possible. There are hardly any limits for the possibilities of three-dimensional deformation. What can be formed out of firm card wood can also be made of molded plywood. Thins both behave in a similar way. These limits can be exceeded by the use of the special 3D veneers, which are expensive to produce and therefore entail additional costs. The surfaces of veneer cross plywood and laminated veneer lumber can be designed in many different ways by pressing the top layers of fine wood, sliced veneers such as oak, maple, cherry, ash, walnut, and other wood. Further, design possibilities offer colored melamine films, decorative films, digital prints, and decorative laminates, and of course, the pickling and painting. As a transparent or opaque. Modern water-based paint systems are used for this. When you look at the features, compared to other wood-based panels such as MDF or chip board, molded plywood and laminated wood are very reliable. Therefore, they are suitable for a wide range of applications. The tensile strength is 110 to 135 Newton per centimeter square depending on the type of wood. This ensures for high load capacity and pleasant vibrations of cantilever chairs made of laminated wood, for example.
With the types of wood that are used for molded wood, the compressive strength is between 50 and 62 newton per centimeter square. It guarantees long-lasting furniture that endures even frequent use as in a school, for instance. Looking at weather resistance, beech wood is actually not suitable for outdoor use because it's very rapidly ruined by wood destroying fungi. But though through chemical or thermal changes it is possible to produce weather resistant molded plywood and laminated wood. Regarding flame retardant properties, by introducing salts in the production process, molded wood is made flame retardant. This is an important aspect for interior design and in the creation of train sets. With such a variety of options, there are no limits to molded or bent wood furniture and decor ideas. They could be made budget friendly or highly expensive based on the design and materials used. As you can see in the video, we have compiled a number of interesting molded or bent wood furniture and decor ideas for your inspiration. Which design is favorite and why? Let us know in the comments section. By now, you know that our channel is full of these inspiring videos which contain easy to follow furniture design property projects. If you are like such content, please consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. And also smash that notification bell so that you'll be the first one to be notified when we upload new videos. Thank you for watching. Until the end, we look forward to seeing you in our next video. Until then, stay safe and stabilize.